How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Angry Hogs video. So today we're going to be talking about dystocia and hognose snakes, also known as egg binding. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Dystocia is becoming a sequela in keeping hognose snakes. The more we keep hognose and the more our hobby grows, we will begin to see more dystocia cases. Most of them probably happening without being reported. If we have hognose snakes, we have probably had this already happen to us at one point. And if we keep them long enough, then we will eventually have to deal with some form of dystocia. So what is dystocia? Dystocia happens more in oviparous species. Oviparous just means egg laying than live bearing species. Live bearing is uh, viviparous. Uh, in hognose, obviously, we understand that they lay eggs. Um, so they fall into the classification of oviparous egg laying. Um, it basically, it's when a female snake cannot lay her eggs. She may be overdue. Um, you could still feel eggs or observe them inside the inside the female's reproductive canal. Uh, usually when a snake has been bred, we expect eggs, especially if they go through their cycle. In conjunction to the appropriate timing, so as breeders, we've learned to look for typical signs like a pre-lay shed uh, in comparison to their their copulation and things like that. So that's what I mean by appropriate timing. And then normally uh, some eggs can be passed or laid, but if any are still present in the reproductive organ, then it's classified as dystocia. So the clinical assessment. Um, usually snakes are capable to pass all their eggs, sometimes even taking extra days to lay the rest after 72 hours. If you notice that they still have eggs inside the reproductive system, then consult your exotic vet. Do not rush the process or intervene without proper orientation. We can cause irreversible damage leading to the death of our animal. You may see the eggs being bunched up in the lower third at the cloaca causing abnormal contortion. I provided a picture of my uh, recent case and you could see if you look close enough that there are two um, oversized eggs right at the cloaca. There is a lot of tearing and blood. That's because the eggs were abnormal and you could see how they're bunched up, uh, causing ab like an abnormal contortion. Um, also, use caution when when palpating to assess your snake's situation. Uh, sometimes you can uh, burst the egg inside of their uh, canal, or simply you can tear her overduct and just cause internal bleeding, which is not good for your snake. What causes dystocia in female snakes and how to prevent it? So dystocia and hognose can be multifactorial and these are some of the causes but not limited to. Improper nesting sites. Make sure to have a lay box for them to induce egg laying or convert the enclosure to a nesting box. Stress can cause dystocia. Don't breed females that have undergone a big life change or simply are too young to breed. This will cause unnecessary stress and will create complications. Dehydration. Always offer your gravid females clean water and a bowl big enough uh, for them to soak in. Gravid females thermoregulate more. And also bad nutrition or malnutrition uh, can cause dystocia. And make sure you offer your snakes a varied diet, supplement, and provide extra calcium for your uh, reproducing females. And then it's pretty self-explanatory, obesity. Obesity can cause poor egg laying performances. Do not overfeed your snakes and provide your female hognose with enough space and handle time uh, so that way they can get their exercise in. And then also salpingitis. Um, sometimes they can have like a bacterial infection in the reproductive system. Just make sure you keep good hygiene, uh, especially for your girls. Uh, clean their enclosures remove any any poops and things of that nature uh, change the substrate frequently because that bacteria can really cause havoc if it gets inside your 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 females uh, hog nose uh, reproductive system and then last on my list is malformed eggs or abnormal reproductive anatomy so dystocia is a disorder and i strongly believe that genetics and inheritance play a strong role in uh, dystocia uh, however you know, just learn how to aspirate the eggs properly in case you are ever in this kind of situation. Uh, there's a lot of bad examples on YouTube and there's a lot of good examples. Just make sure you're well informed and um, just try to do your best uh, in order to save your animal 
and do what's best for your animal. And then in this last slide, we're going to talk about medical management. So basically the remedies and the solution for dystocia. If you're experienced, you can manage some cases of dystocia at home, while other types of dystocia will require a bit visit. And one type of management for dystocia is egg manipulation. Okay, so if the egg is visible, I know I have a typo there on the screen, but if the egg is visible from the cloaca, it could be aspirated. The deflated egg can more easily then be laid. So at that point, if you take out some egg yolk and uh, things of that nature from the egg, that's aspiration, right? You deflate it, it gets smaller because you take the volume out and um, it results in being more manageable for your snake to pass it on. That's good for if you have like enlarged eggs or the, or the snake has enlarged eggs. And then the second form is a cloacoscopy. From home, people normally use their hands to extract eggs from snakes. Uh, there are professional instruments for this exact uh, procedure, but hognos are not large enough. So this, so this uh, procedure um, is very uncommon and maybe irrelevant to us because, uh, because they are such a small snake. Um, even sticking your finger in the cloaca can really, really harm the snake. And then lastly, in some cases, uh, you're going to need surgery. The snake, you're going to have to take the hognose to a, a specialty vet, an, an exotic vet. And um, sometimes dystocia can be very complex to even self-manage. At that point, uh, a vet visit and intervention from a professional expert in the matter is necessary.